Hello friends and welcome to another video. I'm Jessica from Jessing Things Up and today we are trying out this. The Dr. Balmer Total Youth Bio Multipurpose Balm. Got this a little while ago, wanted to test it out. I thought I was like, hmm, I love the Dr. Balmer line. Like, I mean, I've talked about the Ampule so many times as well as the Moisturizing Lip Balm. And lately I've been kind of obsessed with this, which is the Sitka Eye Cream. And so I figured, you know what, what better than to try another product from Dr. Belmer than something that is as handy as a on-the-go total youth multi-purpose balm. This was made available on the Avon Canada website a little while ago, I think maybe about a month or so. I've just been very, very, very busy. If you follow me on Facebook or you are subscribed to my new newsletters, you'll see, you'll understand why things are starting to calm down now, which has been great, but life is still very, very busy. So first off, thank you so much for also being being very patient with me with my upload and live stream schedule over this past month because life has just been pure chaos but things are getting better anyways back to regular programming like I said this is the total youth balm it's from the dr. Belmer line so it is a K beauty product it is made in Korea and in total it is 10 grams net weight so it's a very handy size to put into your bag on the go in your gym bag and for those midday touch-ups now what this is it's a clinically proven product to help diminish the look of wrinkles fine lines and smile lines so great for just crow's feet um, also I read that is good for things like flaky skin throughout the day so let's say your nose area I know especially in the winter right now well now I'm getting into to allergy season so I'll still be blowing my nose but this is also good for like smile lines and things so I am going to try it out test it out I'll do some before and after uh, footage from the natural light window so that you can take a peeky poo but this is full of really great products. So I went out to the Avon website to take a look at what are the main ingredients. There are a lot. It's formulated with andocine, 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 which helps with wrinkle care. The niacinamide in it helps with brightening your complexion. You get your skin resilience from the collagen in it. You get pore care from peptides. And for moisture, you have panthenol. So many great things. The other thing is that it's also made with probiotics. Avon did expand the Dr. Belmer collection to have the Total Youth Biome full collection, from what I could tell, which includes multiple items. The only one that I did purchase though right now is the balm, mainly because I'm still using my Riceramide products and I have a bunch of other products on the go. Want to finish some of that up, but I was like so curious, I could not help myself. I got a lot of skincare products going on, but eh, <laughs> To use this, you apply it throughout the day and you can use it either under makeup or over makeup. I'm thinking that where I blow my nose a lot during those seasons so pretty much all seasons um, this is going to be great especially for the chapped areas right around here where I do get the dry flaky skin right around my nozzle area nozzle shirt sure, nozzle area uh, it's I think that this is going to be very 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 handy according to the face shop website 90% of consumers who tried this product after applying it under makeup said that they felt that their skin looked better. I mean, I have high hopes for this. Let's open this up now so that I can get relief for five sides of aging related to wrinkles, firmness, pore, skin tone, and radiance. Oh, hey, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be a white tube. This is a very schnazzy, futuristic almost silver tube. Kinda like that. What do you guys think? After opening it, you do have 12 months as the I guess best before date if you will okay sniff test mmm has a light slightly sweet peachy scent to it it's very very it's like a little bit fruity I'm quite enjoying it oh yum it is a twist up like so and it can twist back down so it is very convenient that way because if you're anything like me I always over twist up things let's do a little swatch first You know what? It actually has a little bit of a shimmer to it and it's very silky. So, and then as I'm applying it, it does feel like it's like a melting into my skin quite easily and it doesn't feel sticky. All really great things. I will do another swatch on the back of my hand. So here's my hand before and now here's it afterwards. Let's do it on the less hairy part. Yeah. So you'll see like there's a bit of a sheen to it. I'm trying to hide my face. 
I was also wondering if this would be something that can be just enough moisture for on its own. Yeah, there's a little bit of a sheen to it. Just ever so slight. I love this scent. It's like peach juice. Smells so good. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Just don't eat it. Just this smells. I think that's one of my favorite things about it already. But yeah, okay. Ah, focus. I already did the basic part of my skincare. So I did use earlier the Belief Toner. I washed my face with the micellar water from the um, from the Face Shop's Rice Water Bright collection here. Um, and then the only other thing I have on my skin right now is the Sika Peptide Ampule. And so I want to try it only on uh, half of my face. On my right side, what I want to do is I'm only going to use this as the moisturizer. On the left side, I'm going to use it as under my moisturizer. And then I'm going to go on with my day and I'll do a check-in later on tonight. All right, so here we are. This is what my face looks like before. Like I said, it I don't have any moisturizer on right now. I only have the ampule on. I am actually really loving the results from the rice serum, my collection that I've been using. It has been, like, my skin just feels so, so, so nice. You'll see here, I do have a little bit of fine lines, especially when I smile. There's definitely more crow's feet there going on. And then I do have lines here. It may not claim that it would help with redness, but it did help say that it's going to help with brightening. So, I mean, it'll be brightening on top of brightening stuff, maybe, if I'm using, continue using the Rice Ceramide collection. Oh, oh, and the other thing I read is that you can also use it on your body. So, I'm going to try a little bit on my neck, too, because, like, I mean, I definitely have tech neck. And also, pore care, please help. Now, let's do half face with the product. Yeah, I want to try just as a moisturizer on this side first. Let's see what happens. It feels very, very, very moisturized. I hope it doesn't make me break out. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And then, you see you can like kinda like, pat it out. It actually is quite moisturizing. Look, look, look. See how it just glides? <laughs> I'm putting the same amount of pressure on both sides. But on this side, it just glides so much more easier because I have, you know, the balm on my face. So I'm going to put a little bit on my neck. Sure. I think with any type of skincare, it's very rare. I'll be like instant. Okay, But like, as you can tell, there's definitely nice moisture to it. See how this side's a little bit more sticky? This side just glides. So this is my face now. There's definitely a, m a lot more dewiness to it. All right, now let's just do the rest of it. And then I'm going to also apply moisturizer on my left side. I love the fats in a stick form because it's going to make touch-ups along the day really easy if I need to. I mean, typically in the summer, I don't get dry this, so it's fine. But I know that after dance sometimes, I sweat so much that I do need a little bit of extra love on my face. And I'm insanely in love with this scent. I feel like I'm like baking a peach pie in my house. See? See it? This is the swipe test. <laughs> now, let's finish up with the moisturizer on my left side and find out after makeup what it's like and throughout the day. I want to see how moisturizing it feels throughout the day. How like, can it last the entire day? All right. So on my left eye, I'm going to use the Dr. Belmer Sitka. And it might be an unpopular opinion. I put it on the top of my eyes too. That's just me. You do you. But I don't know. I just feel like my eyelids need needs help too and then also on the left side of my face I am going to apply my rice ceramide moisturizer cream and then on both sides SPF all right first impression wise after applying moisturizer on my left side and no moisturizer on my right side I think the product really quite just melts into your skin quite a bit. Definitely, it's more dewy on the left side because of the moisturizers and the layering of the moisturizers. I didn't use a serum. I also didn't use the essence this time. So I think that if I was using the balm during spring, summer, I probably would skip the essence because it does feel moisturizing enough. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna move on with my day. I'm gonna do a makeup first and I'll come back and show you guys what this looks like under makeup. 
back. It looks like that makeup does lay quite well on top of it. All right, see you guys in a few more hours. Hi, oh wow, it's very messy, that's okay. It's been about four hours now. My skin feels actually pretty dewy. Like, obviously the left side feels a little bit more moisturized than the right side, but I mean, if I were just, if I was in a pinch and I only could grab one moisturizing product, it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think off the bat I see a huge difference with the fine lines, but maybe one of those things I just got to use for a little while. So maybe I'll just try using it as a nighttime layering for now. It does wear really well under makeup. Yeah. So, so far, so good. So, like I say, it's been about four hours. So we'll do another check-in in another few hours. Hi, it is now nighttime, as you can see, and it's been 11, 11 to 12 hours, maybe about 11 hours since I applied this, the Dr. Belmer Total Youth Bio Multipurpose Balm. It's, and overall, it, my skin doesn't feel like parched at all. It, it's, it worked as a moisturizer, albeit a lighter moisturizer for a full day, From that's what I feel, because... On the side that I actually use like the reg my regular moisturizer and um, on my eyes and on my face, it feels a little bit more moisturized. However, I do have to say that this is a really great product because it's it's very convenient. It'll be great for those like you know super dry days, flakiness around the nose, um, anywhere that you want a little bit of extra attention, especially if you have like tend to have like dry patches. I think this would be a really great product. It feels really good on. It didn't make my skin feel greasy. What I did notice though is that after play putting it on, it does make your skin have a bit of a sheen to it. So if you're looking for a matte natural skin look it might not give you that effect however if you like the dewiness it does look good now i know that i do have like smearing under my eyes so with that i don't know 100 i don't think it is 100 percent um the product i think partially i did my eyeliner a little bit weird today and i didn't set my liner at all and normally i do set it so it did smear a little bit smear like if i'm putting like you know a hummus smear on a bagel or something <laughs> yeah i think if i if i had set my eye under my eyes it'd been a little bit better for the fine lines i don't notice it like an immediate result maybe it's one of those things i need to use for a while i think i'm going to keep using this especially at night because i do roll a lot on my pillow and so this might be something good just have that extra little layer of moisturizer and then also i think i'll like this for when we go on vacation because you know sometimes you go to places that's a lot more dry and you just need that extra little kiss of love for your skin such as when we went to uh, vegas several several years ago but it was so dry there or even at my uh, when i go to montreal the heating at my aunt's place it tends to be a lot drier in the winter so i find myself you know like i need a mask a lot more often so i think that this will actually be a really great product oh no happy with it i love the scent of this the peachiness of it oh my gosh it smells so good i really really enjoy it so that's it for this video if you have tried this please leave a comment what your thoughts are and i will see you guys in the next one if you enjoyed this video make sure you do give this a big fat thumbs up and until next time guys stay well stay safe and stay fantastically kind